of DK Shiv Kumar, the man who looked absolutely bruised and battered after a tiring, hectic, long few months of election campaign. DK Shiv Kumar was running a high fever. He was given IV drips, but yet, look at the man, the way he fought, so aggressive, and finally got the got the Congress Party with a thumping majority, got it to the victory point uh, in such a grand manner that of course he's now hoping that he'll be granted and honored with the chief minister's post but that comes as a million dollar question of course what we have no doubts of is that dk shivkumar is certainly capable he is a man who is known as a tanakya of uh, the congress party here in karnataka he has engineered quite a spirited fight against the bjp who pitched their battle on the double engine sarkar dk shivkumar focused his entire campaign around people's issues of the state and uh, almost fought the bjp tooth and nail Bringing it to this point here, will that mean the Congress High Command will grant him the CM post? What is the baggage that he has that will act as a hurdle going forward? Let's have a look. I thank all my leaders in the state, including Mr. Sidramaya. Dodala Halli, Kempa Gowda, Shivakumar, finally gave in to emotions. A rare scene for a seasoned politician like him. But even in the euphoric celebration of a win, an emotional momentary slip. DKS remained the Chanakya who did not get swayed by his supporters' elation. It is, the, it, it is, I don't want to tell anything. There is only one support, Congress support. On 15th May, the Karnataka Congress President DK Shivakumar would turn 61 years old. His supporters want him anointed as the top boss, but he remains humble in the victory. I thank all my leaders in the state, including Mr. Sidramaya, all the MLAs, all the party officers and the workers from the block to the booth level who took up the responsibility. It is not one effort, including my ACC office bearers, my general secretaries, in charge general secretaries, sergeant secretaries. They work like a block on our office bearers, and all of them are responsible. He knows the battle was won through united effort, and this is not the moment for individual glory. That's the classic move of DK Shivakumar. He is ever conscious of the present ground reality and remains unperturbed in the face of adversities. Right before the Karnataka poll dates were announced, the Congress grassroots leader was embroiled in a controversy over a video going viral where he can be seen throwing cash in a rally. Instead of being defensive, he turned the tables and the poll narrative. The Congress state chief counterattacked the sitting BJP government for alleged corrupt practices. Bomai, I don't know, he has to tell about... Uh... Eight crores of money seized in his own MLA. That he has to answer. He has not answered. The Prime Minister has not answered. He has to answer on 40% commission. He has to answer on uh, PSA scam, which he was the Home Minister. He is the father of corruption in Karnataka. This vocal Liga leader of Congress has achieved a win that shadows his mentor S.M. Krishna's record win of 1999. D.K. Shivakumar is not only S.M. Krishna's protégé, but also part of his family, after his daughter married the latter's grandson Amartya. In 2023, he emerged as the powerful Congress Vokaliga leader with pan-Karnataka appeal and grassroots organizational capabilities.